Hey everyone, how's it going? So before this video gets started, if you want to save money on gas, if you're still paying full price for gas and you feel like you're still spending too much money on gas, there's a way to get 15 cents off per gallon if you use my code and link in the description down below for an app called GetUpside. Again, if you use my special promo code, you're, you'll get 15 cents off per gallon. All of my friends use it, all of us use it. It's a new app and I honestly can't believe that more people aren't using it. So if you haven't started yet using it or at least tried it out, try it out once and get 15 cents off per gallon. And then for life, you'll get discounts on your gas. And if you can refer a couple of your friends to use your code and link too, you can get up to 99 cents off per gallon, even more. It's crazy. You'll never have to pay full price for gas again. Use the link in the description down below for Get Upside. All right, now let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, what's up? Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, The Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. So this is probably the most requested question that I've gotten to answer is our Uber drivers and Lyft drivers employees now? Um, so <laughs> to answer your question, there, there's, there's quite a few moving parts to this. So yes and no. Um, are they considered, are Uber and Lyft drivers now considered employees? Yes and no. What do I mean by that? So in, in uh, late 2019, there was a bill passed that, called, that was called AB5, right? Assembly Bill 5, which basically makes it not, it was not directly, um, it was not directed at Uber and Lyft drivers, however, it was directed at gig companies, contract workers, people, independent contractors, right? What do you think of when you think of an independent contractor, an Uber driver, a Lyft driver? So, the language in this bill was addressed for companies to be able to classify their workers as either employees or independent contractors. In order for a worker to be considered a contract worker, they have to pass a test, ABC test, that's what it's called. There's three parts to it. Uh, essentially in that test, the worker needs to ha be doing work outside of the normal operation of the company and that worker cannot be an essential um, worker of the company and that worker cannot the, the the company needs to be able to function um do do you know do its do whatever its mission is its job the company's operations without that person so naturally everyone thought well uber needs uber drivers to to do their work right you know without uber drivers what is uber well it's nothing right um can uber function without uber drivers no. Um, do Uber drivers uh, play an essential role in the company? Yes. So naturally, um, by that bill, Uber drivers and Lyft drivers should be considered employees, right? <sighs> I would say yes. Um, however, Uber responded saying, drivers are not essential. Drivers are, they, their language was, drivers are not a core part of our business. Well, that made some people angry, naturally so. Um, and Uber also said, well, we're not a stranger to lawsuits, so if you wanna go ahead and sue us, you can. Um, so what happened? A lot of people sued Uber and said, well, I've been working 80 hours a week. I haven't got paid any overtime. I've been, you know, look at all these wage. I should be receiving $20, $30 an hour this whole time. So they sued him. And what happened? A lot of drivers got money. A lot of people sued, there was a lot of, lawsuits and uh, Uber settled with a lot of drivers if you sue Uber you're probably gonna get deactivated but hey if you can get a hundred thousand dollars through the lawsuit why do you need Uber anymore right you get what you want um, so that's that's basically that's basically what happened Uber drivers stayed the same all independent contractors then last week the California Public Utilities Commission that is a regulatory agency in California specifically. So the bill AB5 was just in California, no other states, right? The CPUC, California Public Utilities Commission, just a regulatory agency that just handles uh, laws in California. Basically, they 
they uh, they handle business laws so laws that apply to businesses and they say whether or not certain laws apply to certain businesses or not so this they brought up this um, I guess concept or whatever <laughs> they want to regulate whether or not this bill AB5 whether or not it applies for uber or uber and lyft drivers that was all they wanted that was the entire investigation not doordash not instacart not nail salons because i know like or construction workers none of the other independent contractors they just want to see well does uber and lyft drivers because after uber and lyft said oh the bill doesn't apply to us um i believe the government probably asked cpuc or if you know this regulatory agency by the way the it's the utilities commission but they do also handle transportation um laws as well so that's why they you know are able to handle this um so they looked at uber and lyft drivers and after doing so they uh announced or they decided ruled that yes ab5 does apply to uber and lyft drivers so after everything said and done at this point what is it now june 21st uber and lyft drivers are yes considered employees what has uber and lyft done about it all they said they they just responded and saying ah, it doesn't really work for us doesn't work for our business model what i have heard is that uber and lyft they're going to propose a measure a ballot um to create some sort of compromise um to make oh yeah by the way when COVID 19 started the uber ceo reached out to her president and said that um hey you know we need benefits for drivers even though they're not employees and uber and uh president trump said sure fine um so i'm assuming at least in california they're not we're we'll, we'll probably become employees but it's gonna look different i mean we'll probably still be able to have flexible hours they'll will probably just be some form of set wage hourly wage over time um and medical benefits and the right to unionize i think that's like the main three things that they want drivers to have because there's so basically the problem is there's so many drivers there's so many uber drivers lyft drivers so many freelance workers in california and the united states is that right as of now there's so many people who don't have a minimum wage who don't have a um who don't have a, uh, any any medical benefits and health benefits. So like, that that's the, that's the issue right now. Um, so I'm assuming that at some point drivers will be able to receive medical benefits, which is a good step in the right direction, I think. I think it's, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't want to have like a set schedule and working Monday through Friday, you know, 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. But I think it would be nice to have access to health benefits, medical benefits, um, 401ks, all that good stuff that comes with being an employee. So as of now, it's yes and no. I just wanted to make this update with everybody asking. I'm in California, so you know I'm directly affected by this all. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions. All right, bye.